all about mistakes apparently today. Uh, <laughs> we make them on a daily basis. Make them. It's okay. I've made about five in this two seconds we've been talking. <laughs> um, but you know, when you're working with new product, whether acrylic or gel, right now we're talking about acrylic, there are some very common mistakes beginners make, yeah. right? Beginners and sometimes advanced. If you've That's been true. making this mistake over and over and you still don't know why, hopefully we're gonna be able to help you out with it. That's awesome. I like that because sometimes, even I've been doing nails for 20 or so years, mm -hmm. we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, there are things that I go, oh my gosh, I've been doing that my whole career. Mm -hmm. So, yep. excited? I hope you guys are too. Let's learn the mistakes we are making with acrylic. Okay, so today I'm gonna to take you guys through four different things, four mistakes that people tend to make when they're working with their acrylic, okay? The biggest one that I think people tend to have an issue with is first of all, picking up their product, okay? I see a lot of people pick up product in a lot of different ways. And I see people drag their brush through, I see people swirl their brush through, okay? I want to show you why you shouldn't be doing that and how to do how to pick up a better pearl. Okay, so first things first, when you're picking up your product, if you're just dragging your brush through your powder, what's going to happen is you're actually going to get you can kind of see you're going to get a buildup up into the brush. Okay, we're not going to get a really good consistent pearl. And also with this one, you can see I picked up way more powder than what my brush was going to hold. So you can see I've got a lot of extra powder kind of around that edge. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're not dragging your brush through that powder. Okay. The other thing I see people do a little bit is they'll just take the tip of their brush and they'll start to swirl it through your product. Okay. Again, you're going to see you're not going to get a really good consistent pearl with that because you're going to have a lot of that extra powder on there. You also now have product on both sides of your brush. So when you go to put that down onto the nail, it's not going to adhere, first of all, because that extra powder, but because there's product on the other side of your brush, it's going to kind of stick to kind of both sides of your brush. So let me show you that one again. Okay. So even if you do get um, a wetter pearl, when you press that down, part of that product is going to stick on top of your brush. And most of the time as you're working with it, that's going to start to kind of gum up your brush. So you want to make sure that you're only picking up product on one side of the brush, not, not on both. Okay. Now, I want you to take a nice close look at the brush. Okay. You can see that our brush does have, it's got a little crimp in, in the ferrule of it, and it also does have that darker area on the tip of the brush. That darker area is the part that you want to be using to pick up your product. You want to make sure that you're not getting product all the way up into kind of that lighter area. So again, if you come into your product, and you lay your brush too flat down in there or you press too deep into the product, what's going to happen is you're not going to get that really nice pearl. You're going to get more of an oval shaped pearl. And again, you're going to get product up into that brush. Now again, as you start to use that product, let me show you with a little bit of a wetter pearl. Okay. What's going to happen is when you press that product down onto the nail, again, half of that product is going to stick in the brush. And then as you continue to use it, it's just going to start to gum up the brush. Okay. So what you're wanting to do instead of all of these other ways, first of all, give yourself a nice clean surface of your product. So tap down that powder so that there's no divots or little holes in there. You're going to come into your liquid. Okay. So what you want to do is you're going to tap out the extra liquid out of your brush. What I don't mean is to wipe the whole brush. Okay. If you wipe the whole side of that brush, you're wiping all of that liquid out of there and then you don't have a whole lot of liquid to pick up a nice consistency to your pearl. Okay. So again, you're going to come in, you're going to press out the extra liquid. Now I've pressed out the liquid from the back side of the brush. Now I want to use the front side of my brush to pick up my pearl because if we wipe out the liquid from the back side, all of our liquid is now in the front side. Okay. So what I want to do is I actually want to turn my brush over and then go into my powder, okay? So if we were to take our brush, wipe out that extra liquid, and then use that back side, it's not gonna pick up that consistent of a pearl because we've wiped all the liquid out, okay? So again, I'm gonna tap down my powder, 
I'm gonna press out my extra liquid. I'm gonna turn my brush over. I'm gonna use just that darker area and I'm gonna press, 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 and then I'm gonna be able to pick up a nice consistent pearl every time. You can see that it's absorbed all of that liquid. It's a nice rounded shape. And when I go to put that on a nail, I'm gonna press down and it's gonna release nicely onto that nail. You can see it's not hanging on to my brush anymore. So when I do go to work with it, it's not gonna to stick to the brush, okay? So those are some ways to pick up your product a little bit better. Okay. Just give myself a nice clean spot. That's actually another trick. Always make sure that you're working with a clean space on your towel um, so that you're not consistently wiping over the same because if you pick up product after product, or if you're wiping your brush in the same spot over and over, again, it's never gonna pull that all of that product out. So make sure that you're always wiping on a clean space, okay? All right, so always on a clean space there. I'm gonna tap down my powder and I'm all set to go, okay? Okay, so the, same, the next thing that I wanna talk about is what consistency do you use for what step, okay? So if you're trying to do a full sculpted nail, you're actually not gonna use the same consistency of your product for your free edge that you're gonna use in your cuticle area, okay? So let me show you what I mean by that. So when you're sculpting your free edge, if I were to just pick up my pearl, okay, and I were to press that down onto my form right away, what's gonna happen, you're gonna to start to see that product, it's gonna to start to run down the sides, okay? If I try to work with that, I can work with it, but I'm gonna be chasing it and I'm gonna try, it's gonna be a lot more work than what I need it to be, okay? So what we're gonna do instead, let me take that one off. Okay. So when you're working on the free edge, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up our product. Okay. I'm gonna press that down onto my towel and you'll start to notice, I'm not sure if you can get in there, you'll notice it looks kind of like the texture of an orange peel. Okay, so it's not gonna be that shiny. Let me do that one more time for you. So when you first pick up a pearl, it looks shiny and glossy. I'm gonna drain that on my paper towel. So now it looks kind of the texture of an orange peel. Now I'm gonna press that down there. I'm gonna lift up my brush. I'm gonna wipe out my brush. Now you can see it's not running from side to side. I don't feel like I have to chase it. I can just start in the center, press my product to the side, and then work with that product. It's in more of what we call a clay form rather than that wet form, okay? So this way, we have a little bit more workable time for molding and moving that product rather than chasing that product, okay? So now I can just bring it right up to that cuticle area and I didn't have to chase it all over my form. Now you can go in, do your shaping, press in your sides, make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Okay, so getting that perfect pearl, picking up that perfect pearl, and then also draining out the extra liquid, okay? So when you're working on that free edge, you're gonna work with that more clay form. Okay, so once we've got our free edge on there, we've used our free edge in more of a clay form. When you're working through the rest of the body and you want that product to adhere to that natural nail, you're gonna work in a little bit more of a wetter consistency, okay? So you want a wetter consistency especially up by that cuticle and around the nail bed area because that wetter consistency is gonna adhere better to that nail. If we were to try to use a dry pearl, so if we tried to take a pearl like we did on our free edge and drain out that extra liquid, when we go to put that onto our nail bed, it's not gonna to wanna to adhere as well because it's not gonna run down into all the little nooks and crannies of that nail, okay? So what we wanna do, I'm just gonna take that one off so as we're working up around the cuticle and over that nail bed, I'm gonna pick up our pearl at a nice wet consistency. I'm gonna angle that finger down. This way our product is gonna work and it's gonna flow down that nail. So I'm just gonna press out my cuticle area a little bit, okay? So now you can kind of see that that product is just gonna flow and it's gonna work its way down there. I don't have to do a ton of work up around that cuticle area, okay? So if our product was too dry, it wouldn't adhere as well around that cuticle area. That's a really good um, indication if you're getting a lot of lifting around the cuticle area and you're not touching the skin, you're doing all your filing and everything else is going correctly, you might be working a little too dry and your product isn't getting a chance to adhere to that nail, okay? 
So make sure when you're working around your free edge, you're working in that clay form. When you're working around your cuticle and through the nail body, that's gonna be in a wetter form. All right, now our, our third challenge that people tend to run into is they tend to work their product too much, okay? So what I mean by working your product too much is if you pick up your pearl and you put it onto the nail, okay, I'm just gonna start up here, okay? You put it onto the nail and you go right in and you start pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and trying to get your product to move. What's gonna happen when I'm doing this, anytime you press into that, I'm not sure if you can see, but you can. See, there's little air bubbles. So anytime you're pressing into your product, you're probably gonna be pressing air bubbles into it, okay? So what you wanna make sure that you're doing, rather than pressing, is just letting that product flow. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna be able to pick up our pearl, Okay. And we're gonna just drop that right down at our cuticle area, okay? I'm gonna angle the finger downward. I'm gonna wipe out my brush. I'm gonna use just the tip of my brush to just kind of lightly move that slightly towards the cuticle, okay? I'm just kind of pressing and just working around that cuticle. Now, while I'm doing that, the rest of my product is flowing down the rest, the length of the nail, okay? Once it gets to a point where it stops, then you can lift up on the nail and then you can come back in and you can start to work a little bit more and then maybe do a little bit more pressing. If you need to use a little bit more pressure, you can go ahead and do that, okay? But to get that to flow down the nail. So now I'm not gonna have any of those extra bubbles, okay? If I needed to, I could add a little bit more on my free edge if I were gonna finish up this nail, okay? So again, on my free edge, I'm gonna just drain out that liquid. This one I can actually blend from the free edge and blend backwards, okay? Just to give myself a little bit more length. Okay. So just working across. And then I'm gonna just lightly blend that up, okay? So again, with this process, you can see I didn't do a lot of pressing. I let that product flow and I let that product do the work for me, okay? So now when that uh, when this pearl sets, I'm not gonna have any of those little air bubbles in there. So if you're somebody who is constantly thinking, why am I getting air bubbles in my product? I'm picking everything up right. It could be that you're just pressing too much and trying to work that product too much. So let the product do the work for you. Let it flow on its own, okay? Another challenge that people have or another mistake that people make around the cuticle area is not using the tip of the brush to just lightly press, okay? A lot of times what I see people do is they'll pick up their product and they'll drop it onto the nail. They put too much pressure first of all, okay? And you see how it kind of forms like a little horseshoe? You're putting too much pressure there and you're putting your, the bulk of your product around the outsides. You want the bulk of your product to stay on the inside, okay? So let me do that one more time. Okay. So again, when you're pressing down, instead of pressing so much in the center of the nail like that, you just wanna press enough to where it's gonna release from your brush. So I'm gonna just press that down and lift up, okay? Now you can see it's pretty kind of an even consistency throughout that pearl. I didn't press down in the center, so I don't have that little horseshoe look around it, okay? Now the next thing that people tend to do is they try to push their product at the cuticle. So they kind of come in the middle of that product and push it at the cuticle, okay? So again, what's gonna happen is when that product sets, you're gonna get kind of that horseshoe, that ridge around the nail. We wanna make sure our product is nice and thin and tapered so that we don't have to do a lot of filing, okay? So let me show you one more time what you should do. Okay, so what you wanna do is instead of pushing your product up at the cuticle, we're gonna pick up our pearl. We're gonna drop it down and I work a little bit away from the cuticle and just touch my brush. Let me wipe out that a little bit. I'm gonna basically touch my brush right in between my acrylic and my cuticle and just press out that cuticle area. Okay, I'm not pushing product at the cuticle. I'm just pressing down so that it's nice and thin and tapered all the way around my cuticle area. So now if you look at it from the side, you can see that it's nice and thin at that cuticle area, but then the bulk of my product is coming up into that stress area. And that's the exact shape that I want the nail.
Okay? So make sure you're pressing around the cuticle rather than pushing up to the cuticle. Okay, so I think those are four different challenges that people tend to have with acrylic. Hopefully by showing you the right way to do these things, that'll help you with your consistency, it'll help you with your application, and it'll help you hopefully to keep from having nails that lift. We've got endless amounts of videos, so do not stop now. Click, watch, click, watch, keep that going, and don't forget to give us one of these.